four, four, four. <clears throat> Sounds pretty good. Lead on Vantage and the Goblin Guide. Oh, has Bloodstained Mire. Doesn't really tell us a whole lot. So, Mardu. Goodbye, Boros Charm, or goodbye, Swiss Spear, one of the two. Something's getting path here, most likely. Main deck Torpor Orb. Okay. Okay. I presume they have some kind of payoff for this.
Alright, Sanctifier and Vec, pretty decent against our stuff. So our opponent is some type of ETB preventing deck. They, they play Torpor Orb, uh, Strict Proctor, and they just play obnoxiously large dudes that normally have huge drawbacks, but because there's no ETB effects, they don't have to deal with those uh, negative things. They have Strict Proctor and Torpor Orb, and they get to play, um, you know, like we saw big dudes there, but yeah, kind of their thing. Reflecting Palm, probably reasonable in this matchup. Um, kind of awkward because they don't know how good Smash and stuff are. Uh, Eidolon could be a little bit awkward on the draw, honestly. Uh, simply because their dudes do a ton of damage. Huh. The problem is I don't know like how much... Hand is reasonable, but man, is a deal us a lot of damage. All right, Inquisition, take whatever. Probably Charm or Blaze. Could hold a bull here, but really no reason to. Now they get to start playing their big dumb idiots. Hard to draw. Just saying. Yep, that's fine. Pass the turn.
Alright. And GG. To the 4 0 start. Can we get the 5 0? We'll Alright, we're back for magical match number 5. Ends reasonable, I suppose. No creatures, so it's not like super exciting. Island go. Doesn't really tell me a whole lot, honestly. can here. Still have no idea where our opponent might be on. They might be on blue white control. They might be on who knows. <clears throat> island Island. Wow. Chalice on one? Sure. Ew. Harp against Merfolk. Okay, okay. Got it, got it. <clears throat> Give our opponent the opportunity to block, I suppose. Bloxies. All right, well, let's unlock our mana if we can. Sure. <clears throat> I mean, hundred percent our opponent's blocking here, right? that weird spot where land's a good rip, spells are a good rip, Eidolon's a pretty bad rip. <laughs> um, okay, put it with three cards in hand. Chalice, nope, Silver Girl Adept and Lord of Alanis. Okay.
All right, well, let's just end this, shall we? All right, merfolk. It's like retro league. They're on chalice. <clears throat> All right, well, looks like we definitely want the smashes and the wear tears. Reflecting palm could have been a consideration. Eidolon's generally pretty terrible against them. Actively pretty bad. So you have to warn it, unfortunately. Sand only has one land, which could be problematic. Play out a land in this potential spreading seas nonsense or tide shaper nonsense. This feels like it's chalice. No. Okay. Double ether vial. Okay, well, that's mildly scary. That's awkward. This could be incorrect, but I still think I just, given the dearth of mana issues we have, probably just want to get the spells out of our hand. Their opponent considering forcing that, that'd be kind of dumb. Even if they had access to force, that'd be kind of dumb. Sure. Old school shiznit. Tide binder mages. Not the best against burn. Not the worst, but not the best. Gotta remind myself that I have a companion.
not going to bounce it, I presume. Sure. Putting with two cards in hand, huh? Just pass. Okay. Sure. Presume one goes up to three, one stays on two. quick if they have a counter spell or not. Wow, it's been a while. It has, it has been a while since we had one of these, so felt pretty good. All right, see you back for the wrap up. So really weird league. Didn't run into many of the top decks. You know, we didn't see Hammer Time, we didn't see Rhinos, etc. Um, instead, we saw a very interesting mix of decks. Um, yeah, but still, you know, when you play flexible cards like Sanctifier and Vec or Path to Exile or Roiling Vortex or Deflecting Palm, you know, you tend to, tend to see those cards shine. Um, you know, right now there's just a lot of chalices floating around. I really kind of like the split on this where Terra gives you a little bit more game against Urza Saga specifically while also giving you outs to random things like Leyline of Sanctity should you happen to see that. Sanctifier and Vec um, always seems to have at least one or two matches almost in every league other than I think the last league where we played against, uh, you know, Amulet twice and Tron and other stuff. You know, a lot of matchups. This At least one matchup a league this shows up and just kind of does its thing. And we got to showcase it kind of twice in this league. Deflecting Palm, you know does the thing you know there's big creatures in the format one or two of these in your sideboard can't hurt really vortex not really its chance to shine in this league but you know there's quite a few matchups where it's important and path to exile should it be prismatic and then should it be path it's kind of up to you to decide but kind of hard to complain about the 5-0 you know um this these variants between this and the original version we ran We've had two four ones, the one four one one four, and then the five zero. Oh. So I think the deck's been proven pretty consistent, other than the weird league where like everything went wrong. So you know, take that for what you will. I mean, we could certainly do more iterations and more um, trials with this, but I think the results kind of speak for themselves. Uh, I think it's time to start working on the Darcy version a little bit, as I think this version's pretty solid about where it's at. Although, whether you want Skull Cracks, Lightning Helix, or Skewers, you know, that's something you can take with yourself. Whether you want to run 19 lands and, like, one Shard Volley, you know, or one Thunderous Wrath, you know, just different things. A lot of different iterations and things you could do, but I think overall I'm very 
pleased with where this version's at right now, and obviously it's really kind of hard not to tinker here. Or it's kind of easy not to want to tinker with a version after you go 5.0. So we will be working on the Darcy decks more whenever I work more on Burn, but figured we'd give this league a try, and I'm obviously very pleased with the results. This has been John for MTG Nexus.